This is Odyssey. This is how Odyssey studies. Odyssey is not getting much work done. As you might predict, Odyssey has a lot of missing assignments, and uh, his gradebook's going to be pretty confusing. Well, let's talk about how to manage these missing assignments, especially when those due dates come and go and they're way far behind. Well, here we are looking at Odyssey's Schoology account. Odyssey's been a bad bird, hasn't done a whole lot of anything, and has quite a few assignments to do. Now, if you've been following along, you know that each one of these weekly folders holds your weekly assignments, and we can go looking in there. You can imagine, though, that by uh, week 15, there's a lot of assignments to look in. It's a lot easier to come over here and look at our upcoming assignments. But if you fall behind, this fails you, because I see in here I've got box two, three, and four, and five, but I know I haven't done box number one because it was due last Friday. Once that due date expires, they no longer appear in this upcoming panel. Now you can go in the calendar link right here, and you can see all of your assignments and when they're due, and you can see I like to make mine due on Friday. And we can go back to a previous month, but what this does not show us is whether or not we actually did the assignment. So you would have to look into each and every one of those to know if you still have to do it, unless you've been keeping track somewhere else. So the best way, if you're a student, is to go over here to this Grades tab, click on Grades, and uh, again, we're in Odyssey, so I'm not showing anybody's private information here. He's a bird. He doesn't have any uh, educational rights, as far as I know. So I can look over here, and now this is where the meat happens. Week 1, I've got 33%, which tells me something's definitely wrong. And I look down here, and I see I've got a missing assignment and a missing assignment. Now there's a couple things I want you to realize, and this is where it applies to teachers as well. This missing assignment has a document submission by it. It has this document icon, which means there's actually submission, but it's still missing. Okay, and I can click on this. Just kidding. I can click on this right here. And I can see there's two submissions, and I can look at those submissions and see what they actually are. So it looks like I've done this twice, or not me, but my bird really, has done this twice, and for some reason the teacher is just not grading it. Okay, let's look over on the teacher side and see what's going on. So as a teacher, I've got these five ungraded assignments, and I only see paper box one, paper box two. Well, that's odd. Let's go back over to the, the bird side here, and uh, let's just do this again. My teacher's not seeing this. Now remember, we had five assignments to grade on the teacher's side. Let's just resubmit this. Create. Hey, Mr. Teacher. And be sure to include lots of exclamation marks. And we submit this. Now I can see right here, and now I have three revisions submitted. Let's go back to the teacher side, refresh the page. Okay, it still shows me five ungraded assignments and just those paper boxes. It does not show the other one. And we can look back in the gradebook and it still shows up as missing. What's happening is as soon as the teacher marks this missing, it no longer appears in the teacher's notifications. Okay, on the, my teacher side, if I go to my gradebook for this class, I can see all the missing assignments for all of my students. And I can see if we find Odyssey here, that class survey, there's Odyssey in the class survey. I can see that there is a submission, but it also shows that it's missing. As long as that missing symbol is there, I'll never have a chance, it'll never appear on my notifications. Now, as a teacher, I can go in here and I can scan every single one of my gradebooks and I can look for this combination of a missing symbol and a document submission symbol. And I can click on that document submission symbol and go, oh, hey, look at this, revision one, revision two, revision three. I better give Odyssey some credit here. We'll give them 100 points. And notice as soon as I do that, the missing symbol disappears. We can close that, go back to the gradebook, refresh it, and there's that class survey. So now Odyssey has 100%, and that flag for missing assignment is gone. So there's a solution, but imagine you have 240 students, and however many assignments, that's a lot of these to look through. So here's the solution I have, and uh, this falls on the students. So if you're a student, let's start from scratch here. 
I'm going to go to courses, exploring woods. I want you to go to your gradebook for each class that you have and look down here. And whenever you have a missing assignment, go ahead and do that assignment. Or if it's one like this right here, where you can see the missing symbol and the document symbol. Here's a quick and easy way to get that graded. Go to that assignment. And from this page right here, I can see that it's submitted. I'm going to click once on this, right click it and select copy. And then we're just going to go over and we're going to send our teacher an email. So we go right here, new message. Put the name of the assignment in the subject line and include your class name and period because it makes it easier for us. So this is, that tells me where to look. I finished this assignment. And if you want to make this super easy and almost guarantee it's going to get graded, do a right click and a paste or a control V and send. Okay, that's going to come up in your teacher's email box. Boom, there it is right there. When I click on this, it's going to take me to the assignment page. And then if it's in a different period, if you have linked classes, that's why you want to put the period in the email. I can go ahead and click on this and I can see the Odyssey did the survey so I can give 100 points to Odyssey and we are done. So to review, if you are a student and you have missing assignments or you just have a low grade and you don't know why, go to the grades tab for your class, find the assignment that's missing that says missing with that orange hexagon, select the assignment, finish the assignment following the directions on there, and when you are finished, select the URL, copy, go to an email window, start a new message to your teacher, put the name of the assignment in the subject line, make sure the period's in there and your name's in there, and then paste that URL and send that to your teacher. That should solve most of our late assignment problems. Let me know if you have any questions about this.